So we're looking at the downfall now, really, of uh, the 20th dynasty and New Kingdom and Egypt in general. Although Egypt is later ruled by foreigners, these are the decline moments during the reign of Ramesses V from 1149 BCE to 1145 BCE. He only ruled Egypt for four years. Yusa marked Ra, the truth and justice of Ra, the son of Ramesses IV. The king's capital was in the north at the old uh, a uh, capital built by Ramesses II in the Delta, the old Avaris capital, which was um, uh, assimilated by the growth of Pi Ramesses, the Great House. The priests of Ammon have been left unchecked during his reign. The workers of Del and Medina are downing tools again. They're saying that they've been attacked by Libyan raiders and bandits from the desert. So it's giving you a a real good impression of what's going on now in Egypt. Uh, maybe that's why uh, his father needed 5,000 soldiers to go and get that nice uh, block of uh, of stone from the Wadi Hammamat because there were lots of bandits in the desert and Libyan raiders. Maybe that's why. As I said, he didn't rule long. He died of smallpox and he wasn't buried until two years after his death. So his body was mummified and the old ritual of burying your predecessor uh, within 70 days was passed by. He was succeeded by his uncle who became Ramesses VI. He was the son of Ramesses III and he spent his time dealing with these Libyan raiders and Egyptian marauders as they're described, more like bandits who are looking for... Um, attacking different villages along the River Nile, knowing that the king is in the north with any military presence there and nothing is in the south down from Rosset onwards. So Ramesses VI, the uncle of Ramesses V, took control of uh, the situation and dealt with the marauders. It appears that uh, these incursions uh, were going on for a number of years and that's why the workers at uh, the village of Della Medina uh, felt it was just too dangerous to keep continue cutting um, the royal tombs. When order was established uh, down in Wasset, Thebes, Luxor, the workmen continued cutting Ramses V's tomb, KV9, where his uncle <laughs> usurped the tomb. Um, and ordered that the decoration be changed in his name. We don't know if um, if uh, Ramesses V was actually buried in there with his uncle or whether he was buried in another private tomb. Things also became very cramped in the Valley of the Kings because when they were cutting KV-9, they broke into KV-12, which was an earlier 18th dynasty tomb, um, probably used for uh, as a private tomb so uh, you know things are getting cramped there uh, they're filling up we've had sort of uh, this is the third dynastical family that wants to be buried in the Valley of the Kings so the text that went into this tomb was very similar to the other uh, uh, tombs of the 20th dynasty so we've got um, Ramesses the sixth being greeted by Ra Harapti, a form of Ra, the Book of Gates, the Book of Caverns, the Book of Day and Night, the Book of uh, Book of uh, Earth and Acre, the Imni Duat, the Treasurer or Overseer of the Duat. Wow! So he's he wants lots of magical spells to make sure he's getting through that gateway above Abydos. So as I mentioned before. Ramesses the sixth was the son of Ramesses the third, so he was an actual prince, uh, empowered with kingship on the death of his nephew. He ruled Egypt for maybe seven to maybe eight or nine years. We're not quite sure. He chose for his throne name uh, Neb Mart Ra, Lord of Justice, of Ra, Meri Amun, beloved of Amun, Ra Meses, born of Ra. Um, 
unfortunately during this rain the cane like territories were lost so it shows the political uh, um, vacuum that's now existing in in the Middle East uh, the high priests of Ammon have made Waset, Thebes, Luxor the religious capital of the country and they're really governing the south now so the high priests of Ammon are, are actually govern, governing the south really Ramesses is just the the king of the north rather than the king of the whole country only a king of the Nebtawi in name only really realistically the king's body was robbed uh, after the his burial but within uh, sort of 17 to 19 years and then it was moved to the cache uh, which was established in kv35 and he was succeeded by his son who became Ramesses the seventh so we have a quick look at the uh, tomb that uh, uh, Ramesses the fifth and sixth built for themselves it's a typical tea tomb uh, on the inside you can see uh, Ramesses the sixth being greeted by Rahuakti. So it's very difficult to get into this tomb. Um, all the tombs in the Valley of the Kings are open and closed in rotation. And the Egyptian government has always done it that way, um, simply to reduce any um, over tourism and to um, to uh, encourage people to come back really <laughs> that's what i have to say you know i can tell you the truth uh, they don't want you to do the valley of the kings in one trip they want you to come back two or three times increases their tourism and that increases their re revenue uh so that's ramesses the fifth and sixth um please press the subscribe button like the video if you enjoyed the information I provided and leave any comments down below and I'll be back with uh, Amos the 7th. See you soon. Bye.